they don't just want to wage a war on women, they're now expanding it to a war on little girls. House Democrat Eric Swalwell of California has long been known for his matter-of-fact attacks on Republicans. And according to the Daily Beast, Swalwell told Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, you are a puss as McCarthy and Swalwell get in floor feud. House will be in order. Multiple eyewitnesses and lawmakers report the clash began on June the 21st, when Republicans voted to censure California Democrat Adam Schiff. The A's are 213 and the nays are 209. <clears throat> As Democrats shouted shame at the GOP lawmakers, you can see Eric Swalwell leading the demonstration and standing in the well of the House near the Speaker's podium. This is pathetic, said Swalwell. You are weak. You are a weak man. McCarthy, who stared back at Swalwell, was visibly upset, according to several eyewitnesses. After a few seconds, though, McCarthy walked away. The next day, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Capitol Hill for a joint session of Congress. After Modi shook hands with McCarthy and moments before Modi took to the Speaker's podium, Swalwell went to the bathroom just outside the chamber on the Republican side. That's when McCarthy saw him. Quote, McCarthy said, if you ever say something like that to me again, I'm going to kick the shit out of you, a member claimed to the Daily Beast. Another member who witnessed the exchange provided even more context. They were in each other's faces, basically nose to nose, and Swalwell said something like, are we really going to do this? After some back and forth with chest puffed out, McCarthy issued a challenge to Swalwell. Call me a pussy again and I'll kick your ass, the speaker allegedly said. While both members told nearly identical versions of the story, they both delivered Swalwell's response in exactly the same way. You are a p Swalwell told McCarthy. After both men stared each other down for another moment, McCarthy eventually relented. He stepped to the side and let Swalwell through to the bathroom without kicking his ass and carried on with his duty hosting the leader of a major U.S. ally in the House chamber. You gotta wonder what was going through Speaker McCarthy's mind with Modi, given the exchange moments earlier with Swalwell. Mr. Prime Minister, I just got called a but I'm shaking your hand and pretending everything is fine. The fact is, Democrats are now having a field day with the McCarthy Swalwell story, again a dust-up confirmed by multiple lawmakers to the Daily Beast. Because the narrative here reinforces the perception that Republican House Speaker McCarthy delivers empty threats and is ultimately weak. McCarthy clearly cannot seem to instill much discipline on his own Republican members. The conservative House Freedom Caucus thinks he is soft and feckless. And even Biden White House officials have been privately gloating about their victories over McCarthy. There are more battles, of course, to come, but Democrats feel emboldened and believe that McCarthy's surrender to Swalwell reinforces the Swalwell point. That Kevin McCarthy, the Republican House Speaker, is indeed a weak leader who has no control over the GOP lunatics and can be pushed around by everybody. By the way, one of Speaker McCarthy's top allies in the Republican House is Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Greene recently fumbled in talking about Donald Trump and is getting laughed at. Absolutely. President Trump should be expunged. President Trump should be expunged. President Trump should be expunged. <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie. <laughs> Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.